Good morning. Day 41 on the PCT. I'm at Shelter Cove. I was showing you how many tents there were around me. Shelter Cove is pretty popular. I put a message out yesterday. It's kind of like a souped up KOA campground, but no swimming pool. Pretty cold this morning. Uh, I would say it's high 30s. Everybody talked about here at Shelter Cove last night about how cold it was the night before. Uh, it's definitely cold. waiting on them to open so I can get some coffee. Pray for Marilyn this morning. She's getting a double barrel infusion this morning. And uh, pray for minimum side effects and that the, the um, treatments will do their jobs. She's Marilyn's uh, is Bob's wife and be praying for them this morning. Well, man, oh, the best so, so far. Hey, well, man, guys. <laughs> Pancakes. Well, scrambled eggs. For the last year and three quarters, oh, this we've been yeah. caregiving for my yes. 92 and 97 year And I'm Terry. Terry. We're trail angels up here at Odell. We try to get up here at least once a year. Are you in Springfield, Oregon? Wow. Or Spring Tucky, as we like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all so much for for what you're doing. It really helps us out a lot and it's a blessing to us. Thank you. I enjoy it. Thank you. Okay, that's the second real trail magic I've had. I mean, I've had trail magic but but not a meal so hearts pass for the first and now you to go nice folks really nice folks uh they do it every well they they haven't been able to do it this is the first time they've done it in a while because they've been taking care of elderly elderly parents all right i've got to finish uploading videos and decide if i'm gonna start hiking today because it's the day's getting home and I hadn't even broke camp or anything so finish my videos and see if I can't get out of here there's I've talked to now several north founders who definitely have come through so I know I can do it now so that's good okay it's been a little bit of a figuring out on this. I have another map software on my phone that I use mostly for hunting, but looks like it's gonna come in handy. Cause I'm off to PCT doing a side trail and we'll not be doing a road walk like I thought I might be doing. So it's late, it's probably noon. Oh, and so I'm, I got all my videos done and uploaded, so they'll keep coming. That's good. It's a nice woods to be hiking in too. I'm on Trapper Creek, but just a little short ways here. 
and I'm gonna hit a different trail. Diamond Peak Wilderness. I'm looking for the Whitefish Creek Trail. And Trapper Creek is flowing strong. Don't know how long I stay alongside it. It's nice. There's access right there. Well, that's the trail crossing. Ooh. Hello, son. We'll get warm today. It's uh, 1.45. I'm going about four and a half miles. Just a gradual climb the whole time. From what I can tell, I'm looking at my map on Onyx. It looks like I got about another half mile climb and then I come over the top. Uh, the few people that I've talked to that had already done this said there were no issues with fire whatsoever. However, the weather has changed. It's hot now. 82. Last night wasn't nearly as cold. Probably not the moisture either we've been having and I do smell fire I do smell just a hint of smoke fire I can't see it I can just smell it it does got me a little concerned I got 15 more miles before I'm on the PCT that's open but uh, you know the weather Makes a big difference on when fires flare up and get worse. And this is dry, dry, hot. Back like the summertime. All in one day, all in two days, you know. It's completely changed back to hot again. And apparently the wind's a little out of the north because I'm smelling it. Yeah, I can feel the wind in my face now. So and I know the fire to the north of it. And the nice thing about Onyx, it shows me where the fire is too. It's a really great app for hunters. Got all these trails on it. I use it a lot. Use wind directions and all those kind of things. It's really good. Most of you don't care about that, but when I'm hiking around in the wilderness in Montana, trying to chase elk, it is a great out to have. You've got topo and everything, so you can tell where to go. All right. Okay. Seeing smoke now. I got a couple more miles and I can come out to a blacktop road. If I have to bail, it'd be better to bail on that blacktop road then turn around and go back, I think. Yeah, smoke gets worse. I might have to turn around. <sighs> I think we got bad information on this trail. And I didn't, didn't realize it or even things are changing. 
I'm definitely seeing a smoke haze and smelling it strong. I'll have to make a decision soon. 242. And all I know to do if I don't come out on that road soon is to turn around over seven miles in. Well, there's the creek I was gonna get water from. No water. Uh, everything looked so good at first, but now things are not looking as good. Well, for about the last mile, I've been walking on fire hoses along this trail. And about every 40, 50 yards, they have a connection on them. And the connection is the extra hoses. One little garden hose-like thing, they're not garden hoses, but in, they got two hoses with a wire connector and they got a spray nozzle right there in and out in the woods. They got a sprinkler head. Pop up sprinkler head. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's like what you'd use to water your grass with. But it's been, I'm already walked through a mile of it and there was a pump right back there. And it started at a creek that had water in it. And I've kind of walked down and uh, less smoke, less, less smart. I don't smell it as much either, I think. And I finally got it to load. I got a little signal on my phone and I didn't. I, I have Onyx and Onyx shows me where the fire is. And actually, apparently the fire started here and it moved the other way. Big muleys in here. Just saw two big muleys. Look like those. There they are. Big. There's one right there. A little one right there. Big, phew, she stinks. Smell her. That oh, was a bunch of them. Shoot. They're all hanging out in here. Okay, I've got out of the smoke. Don't smell fire anymore. So I feel much better. I'm at the horse camp and I just filled up with water at a water faucet. This is about halfway of the, until I get back on the PCT at Wendigo Gap. I need to check my map, make sure I'm on the right trail, but I think I am. I'm on the Matullus Wendigo Trail now, which is another 10 miles or so of this trail before I get to Wendigo Pass. I'll pick back up with the PCT. And I went around horse camp, that's all. I didn't take any video, I should have. I was <laughs> a little bit nervous I wasn't supposed to be there. But all the all the pit toilets are wrapped in aluminum foil to protect it from the fire. And the host uh, is not there, which I assume they evacuated from the fire. And then uh, I went by the whole spot and got some water. So I don't know how far I'll be before I need, before I get the water again. So I filled up, got two, two and a half bottles full, which should be good. And I drank a ton while I was there and I cameled up while I was there. Not much to see here. This is a re replant years ago. 
and uh, been, looks like uh, been several years. These trees are already 30, 40 feet high. Well, I think I'm gonna stay at Nip and Tuck Lake. I think it's a campsite here. I've got two and a two and a half, two and a half miles to the PCT. And uh, I've come out on a road not far down there and then I walk down the road or take a side trail. It is getting late, it's after 7.30, so I've got, according to Garmin, I got 18.74 miles. Let's see what we got right here somewhere. Really just looking for a decent place to set up camp. If I get desperate for water, I can go to that those lakes. Yep, somebody's camped here recently. I see put your prints. I think I'll do the same. All right, let me get set up and uh, I'll finish you out in just a little bit. Hopefully I got enough daylight. Well, I mostly said I got to get all my bed stuff together. Decided to go ahead and cook. First, having lasagna tonight. And I got some uh, wavy lays. And of course, my favorite hot chocolate. He's all ready to go as soon as that water gets to boiling. I'm guessing right at 18 miles or so today since I don't really know the uh, water's boiling. So 18 miles. Um, it's what we're gonna go with. Uh, and uh, it's ooh, just after eight now, I bet. I don't know what time it is. So it's probably after eight, but it's getting dark. Um, I saw two people since I left Shelter Cove, and that's it, other than a few workers that were working that didn't see me. And I went one trail to the horse camp, uh, and then another trail to here, and I only like just a little bit to get out of here. So it's uh, I'm definitely alone. <laughs> if you ever wanted to be alone, this is it. I just had a big bird swoop at me. I did not see what it was, if it was a raven or what, but I've been, it's been screaming at me. The the uh, the jays have been screaming at me like crazy when, while I was setting up, and now he's going to bed. But, but right at dark, I had one literally 10 feet from me try to check me out. I don't know what he was doing. Uh, so I'm glad I got this far. So I have just a little bit to go and I'll be back on the PCT. And then, then it'll be the PC, then it'll be the Crater Rim Trail that I will be rerouted onto at Crater Lakes. And I'm planning to stay at Crater Lakes and take a zero there. So I've got like three days and I am kind of pumped about that because I've always wanted to, there he goes again. What is, oh, that's an owl. He is buzzing me. Oh, maybe I can get him on video. All right, he's right there. He flew in that tree, but it's gotten so dark you can't see him. There he goes. There he's over there, I don't know. Why he's upset with me. Let's see if I can get him to talk. I don't think it's a hoot owl. Oh He's right there in that tree. I hope I got him on video. He is not happy about me being here for some reason. I don't know what kind of owls they have in Oregon. All right, so I uh, guess I'll go to bed now and all out here by myself, which I don't mind at all. There he goes again. That rascal. I might be getting on video. Oh. Oh. Looks like a hoot owl. He's turning that head around, ain't he? Oh. <laughs> I 
I was zoomed in, I couldn't tell where he went. He's just making a circle around me. Ooh, there he comes again. All right, let's see, let's see. What are you upset about? That's a hoodow. I don't know why he's so upset. He looks like he's gonna fly again. Yep, where'd he go? Right here. Guess I'm gonna have to deal with him tonight. All right, I'm going to bed. I'm gonna finish eating and getting getting in the tent. And maybe I'll survive the owl attack. <laughs> Good night, everybody.